So we have the setup here of our rock formation. We have the materials. We can pretty much make some adjustments here. Make it even bigger or smaller or whatever. And you can build up very fast scenes, very detailed scenes. And this is what makes Quixel so powerful to the production and it's a lot of fun to use this. So pretty amazing approach for scene build ups, layouts, whatever you need. Excuse my clicking of the mouse, it's a very old mouse, so it's from an old telegraph from 1895. So please excuse the clicking here, the noise. So let's see how this is looking with our redshift engine. So here are the rock formations right from the Quixel bridge. And it can go on this way for a long time because it's so much fun to use all those different um, scans here and scatter them over the scene. I'm downloading this touching grass here to add some more vegetation to the scene. And I think you get the point of how uh, useful this is for your creations. So you can see here how the grass is scattered uh, in our scene here. I will uh, higher the amount and you can see it's also using um, variations in the scattering. So let's render this and then we finish the tutorial and I hope you learned something. I hope you got the idea how useful Quixel can be. And here you can see our grass field. And this is how you can build up a scene with Quixel, make it more complex. Also um, using effects in Houdini, like I mentioned before. So here, as you can see, the scene is built up step by step with all the different scatter settings and elements from the Quixel suite. And I also added some little mushrooms here to make the scene even more interesting. And here you can see how the scene is set up with the different elements that we just imported with the textures and displacement maps, albedo maps, diffuse maps and so on. And feel free to make your own scenes with the Quixel Mega Scans. And thanks for watching. If you really liked it, give us a like and subscribe. Soon there will be new tutorials about the Unreal Engine, how to use Quixel and different other tools inside of the Unreal Engine. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.